Let's stay out of focus. We live out of focus. I want everybody to focus your thoughts uh-huh. and open your mind. There it is. That's the saying from Reggie for Lemmy. Oh, thanks. Didn't know his last name. Fees and me? Fees and me. Fees and me. Is it? Fill me is like a weird Phil Mario me. sex thing. It is. Are we oh, actually Phil Phil me. Me. <laughs> Don't judge Mario. It's Mario does. Oh. Mario. Phil oh, me. Mario. Yeah, that's really good. Philly oh, Philly. 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 That's hey, don't not here to judge. He's, d- he's done with Peach. Moving on. Moved on to Pauline. Pauline's giving him some shit. He's got political never power. Given. Political power. Princess Peach is a princess. Do you, oh, is she mm. just like a? I don't know. Mayors can get shit done. Mayors do get shit done. Princess, she's just like a symbolic thing. We've never seen them like an actual exercise of power. Mario's trying to be saved one time. What's good in that? <laughs> I almost said what's good waypoint because I lost what was good about waypoint for a minute. <laughs> it is. Feel me. It is June thirteenth. I believe 2017, day one technically of E3, or day three, depending on how day you count 12. it. Day 12. Day 12. Of the great yeah. war of E3. I'm Austin Walker, joining me, Patrick Klepek, Rob Zachney, Danica Harrod. We've been to the front lines. <laughs> We've seen the masses starving oh, yeah. and hungry and ready to play video games. Or, or not, games. actually, as Did the they case not get to play any video games? No, it's just the lines are bad for them. Oh, it was, they're... Oh, I'll it was wild to it. pull up to the LA Convention Center today and just see thousands of people waiting out front. Yeah, because that's yeah. not what E3 normally is. There's always a uh, like a scrum like yes. out, outside the, uh, the the entrance hall, mm-hmm. but that scrum is also never in a line. Like yeah. they've, it's always just been a sea of people, and that sea disappears. Instantly. Instantly, instantly as people yeah. like go to do their thing. It's always almost a relief where it's like, oh, there's so many people out here. And then the doors open and they're like, oh, everyone dispersed because they don't have yep. things to go do. Yep. That was not the case no. today so much. It, it felt it seems like, yeah, around the block. It, it reminded me a lot of, as someone who goes to Anime Expo every year at the LA mm. Convention Center, it reminded me a lot of that because like just lines of attendees like completely around the whole block. But also E3 has stairs. been way worse in the past. Like when yeah. it was a, like... Yes, this is compared uh, to last year, but last year was exceptionally small. And two years ago it was like, in some ways, felt like a ghost town. Like E three yeah. has been, uh, uh, so yes, it is packed. But I have been to far worse E threes relative totally. to the uh, recent history or long history. So who like spent time on the floor? Like, because I was basically in appointments open to close. Danica just I mean, me, and me and Danica like once we finished our Sony appointments like yeah. I was just on the floor was, for about two hours. What was your impression of the floor? I mean, as someone who's never been to E three before, I was I was taken aback when I walked in. I was like overwhelmed with how cool stuff looked. Like the Shadow of War booth looked like a like a fucking Disneyland attraction. I saw or you something. take selfies with an orc. I took selfies with an orc because there was just a group. What of was orcs. his orc? Did he have a name? Did he have a name? No, he but like... he said. Tag me. I know you're an influencer. And then I was like, all right. Wait, what? Really? Did you kill him for that? Did you get him him on video? Uh, Yeah, Danny got video. Oh, that's a good point. We actually have videos that will be going up all week that are not yet out there. Tag me. I know you're an influencer. He's actually just quoting a line that Bruce says in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see. see. That's that's definitely a classic orcism. We also had another encounter with, um, with... Someone who was uh, in full Assassin's Creed uh, garb. Were they cosplayer or were they? It's hard to tell. I think like, right? Because like, E3 is like so many professional they look, they look cosplayers. Really, he looked really good, so I'm pretty sure he was just there for the Ubisoft booth. Ubisoft? Ubisoft. 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 Ubiquitous software. Never know. So yeah, we went to Ubiquitous. we went to the Ubisoft booth to talk to some people who were in line for Mario Rabbids. The wait there was a sign that said 120 minute wait. Yo. Yeah. Bad yo. And there was a guy behind it that we talked yo. to who was really excited. But then like in yeah, the video, I, I, you'll I, see it. An Assassin's Creed guy comes up and goes and sh- puts his knife in Danny's face and is like 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 he's why? watching him and then walks away. It was What's the really thing good. says? It's Mer- a me, that's you. <laughs> fill me up. Fill me up. No, yeah. don't add up. Don't add up. What's fill me up? Yeah. Keep up out fill of me. it. What's he say? Oh, uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, when yeah, yeah, when he's in the name of the father, like that's yeah, yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> and I'm, actually, he I'm probably, gonna fill you up with this knife. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's I, 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 the thing. I was like, I like that Rabbids game more than yeah. I thought I would. Yeah, I didn't 120 minute wait like it. 
but yeah, that's but what, just, if anything related to sure, Nintendo sure. has an extraordinary weight. Like their whole yeah. booth, which uh, I didn't New Dog that. City, right? I didn't, I didn't go that. in yet. Mm, yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Or I guess they call it something else. What's the Metro Metropolis? Kingdom. Metro, Metro, Metro Kingdom. Kingdom again. Yeah. But I've heard Bill Trennan say New Dog City, right? But like in the like, I, I actually played thirty minutes right. of that today. Yes. yes. And like when you're choosing the stage yes. select, it is listed yeah, as Metro the, Kingdom, as yeah. that. So mm-hmm. I didn't get to see that part. I really want to because they're giving away visors for anyone who plays Odyssey. Like Not VR. in the private area. Happy. No visor from me. Right? Because you're a VIP. Why didn't they get visors? Get visors. Why didn't they get not, visors? Because we're not influencers. The orc was wrong. I don't give a shit. I <laughs> want Cappy. I would like to influence someone to give me a throw. visor. Yeah. I just want I just hey, want Reggie. Cappy. <laughs> Filling my head up with a visor. <laughs> Please. Filling my head with my audio. No. Bad. Stop it. I just want a visor to th- fucking throw at people. Because that doesn't do anything in real life. I'm going to transform. Just whipping, just, whip, just sitting in an hallway. <laughs> just doing an yeah. odd job. Like, that's actually what they're giving out this <laughs> that's year. That's very funny. Yeah. No one steal that idea, all right? That's my, I'm getting that cap. The people watching yeah. on Twitch, yeah, they're going to st- steal your Mario hat idea. Hey, Polygon video out. team, no, don't it, throw hats at people. No, I'm actually see like, you, Nick. Peaky Blinders, but Metro Kingdom. Like, <laughs> like where, where, like, Mario is like the Tommy Shelby. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, just the brutal crime lord. Just, just, I mean, I think that's true. <laughs> yeah. I think he's coming in there to get up close with Pauline so he can, like, oh, that's start true. edging in and taking over territory. Bit Come by on, bit. I'm... I had this moment where... You played that game, by the way. Oh, no, I was just going to say okay. just one last thought about, like, the sort of, like, the E3 crowd. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, one, it's a little bit of a PAX vibe, right? Yes. Like, I define that just for, like, people, like, recognize the work we're doing. Right. And, like, which, which is, is super, incredible. super nice. Like, it's so nice to be, like, this is the first event since... I used to be PAX East, a bunch of us were out there. But this is, like, it's E3, right? And, like, Waypoint is together. We're all out there. Mm-hmm. It's nice to have people come up and say, hey, Absolutely. we love what you do. Yeah. And in fact, I'd say it's a little bit better than PAX because PAX is like primarily a fan event. And so there's often this notion of like, okay, well, like we're kind of there to meet up with fans. And that means that, that we have longer encounters and sometimes that can run into an appointment or something. Here, everyone's been like, listen, I know you're about to run off yep. 30 minutes away so you can go play Detroit Become Human. Yeah. I just want to say I really appreciate your work. So but, shout out to people, anybody I saw today. But also what sucks so with them is like, right. this is not a fan, not even that, but like, this like, not a lot of it is fan driven. Like, right. it, like you walk through, what is it, uh, the uh, South Hall, that's where like the non-console, well, Xbox is over there. But, Xbox is over there, but, but not uh, Sony and Nintendo. It's, there's not much mm-hmm. going on mm-hmm. over there. I walked through it in about half an hour with a buddy of mine and was like, oh, I'm glad I didn't pay for this. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, it's just real this is, I mean, this is the weird thing, right? Like, the, it's open to fans. It feels a lot like a PAX, but there's no community basis for it. It's no, this, it's right. an astroturf fan convention. Right. You know, right now, it's all the, it's all the trappings. Which is interesting gone, to but. me because so much, so often, what you hear is this thing like, "Oh, we're I, our identity is that we're gamers. Like, games are are the core identity." And I don't think that that's true. Like, I think that there is that you need that second level of thing that connects a, a community together that's like a shared sense of humor or yeah, like yeah, is yeah. like familiarity with the same source material, whether that's anime or a set of comics or something, right? Whereas this is just like, oh, we're all gamers. Like, okay, yeah, that's not enough yeah. to be like, I'm hanging well, out. Well, there's with not like, events. think thinking like packs, right? Like, there's like, like a, the board an game all-night area. board game right. Exactly. Like, there's exactly. like arcades that's that are brought in. They're like, Things right. that like bind we buy like, video games is not enough like, to I, create a community. Yeah, I've been to E3 2017. No, gotta buy that shirt. Uh, the, the, Saw someone wearing that shirt. Couldn't tell if it was ironic or not. Didn't have enough faith into in humanity to believe it was unironic. I, I mean, I'm trying to wear it ironically. Right. I'm trying to wear it for real. For real. Danica's is out here. Danica's is living a life. It's someone's best <laughs> life. I think that over the next few years. E3 will, will likely implement some stuff to grow. But, like, the panel stuff is somewhere base. else, right? It's like, it's weirdly really disconnected. It's, it's bad. There's That's no bad. way for the panels That's to really be bad. at the LA Convention Center. There's it's not really close. a place for Okay, it's at LA Live. It's, like, five minutes away. But I'm saying, like, part of the way PAX works is that, like, it's all it's, it's basically connected. Basically in the same area. In, based in the yeah, same yeah. way, in, in the same area, like, uh, th- those are not, they're tame. Th- it feels disconnected in a way that feels like very inorganic. Right. Uh, and then you have things like Devolver, like that are sort of over there, but like not part of E3, part of E3. It's just, yeah. it's weird. Yeah. I don't think it works. Uh, but I'm not sure, like, like I'm certainly not the person to judge whether or not it works because the thing is, the way, like, the things I enjoy about, like, cons that, that I attend, 
uh, are is that sense of community. It is that sense of you know you you, you find you, you find people sharing interest and then you talk about the games you played. Right. But for me, I'm there working, and so like I'm like, there's no way I would spend two hours in a line to watch this thing. A lot of my friends happily spend two right. hours, three yeah. hours to like play a game, and they come out of packs. You know, that was their packs to some extent. Right. It was time well spent. I don't know if people who are like hanging out in these lines whether they really feel that lack of community mm-hmm. spirit at E three because maybe you know this is kind of what they're here to do. I mean, yeah, yeah, it just doesn't yeah. make sense to us. Sure. I, I, talk, oh, right. I was just gonna say I talked to a bunch of people today and everyone I talked to seemed happy to like sure. be waiting. Like they were like, "Oh, this is a long wait," but this is one of the things I'm really excited. Then about. I can see Detroit become human. Right. Long. Well, actually, you know what? Sony does, uh, and they started this last year, I believe. Like one of the best ways, uh, they have an app that you download, oh, and you true, reserve true. specific spots. Yes. Like, hey, I want to go see the Detroit becoming like, yeah. like, presentation. Right. I'm reserved for the 410 presentation. Yep. You have a spot. That, the way that spot it. gets thrown out if you don't show up right. at a certain time. Which but is fair. then all you do is like show up, get in line, see yeah, your yeah, your yeah. thing, and you're out. Like, right. and that's like a, it's it's like very seamless. It's like it's really smart and. But Nintendo, right? Like some companies want the line. Right. Nintendo wants there the line. There is something appealing in terms it's, of like, uh, uh, look at all the attention we're giving. Exactly. Like we don't yeah. have that many games, and look how many fucking people are lined right. up. Right? Like last we're year, Nintendo. it was Breath of the Wild. Yeah. That That's booth was it. dope too. That, bo- that it booth was, was really good. But also, like they make a show of the fact yes. that like, we yes. don't have to try that hard and look and at all this. It's a mindset that generates like routine hardware shortages, and you know what I mean. Uh, no, like, it is like they're not giving like uh, we're yeah. we're gonna make you work for this, right? Yeah. We're yeah. Gonna, we're gonna like yeah. stoke that hunger, but that's part of like their yeah. identity. That's totally. part of like the fans also like are complicit in that, right? Like, like part of being a fan of Nintendo yes. is feeling a little bit exclusive, a little yes. bit like you're one of the people on the inside. Like waiting in line is like hell yeah, yeah. waiting three hours it's to Nintendo. play Mario, yeah. and you yeah. didn't get to play it. Right, yeah. right. I put in the work, and yeah. I got which is like if that's part of your enjoyment of it, I'm yeah. not here to judge. Sure. Totally. You didn't get a hat though. You I didn't get, get I haven't played it yet. So I'm saying you can't get a hat. You can't get an E3 T-shirt if you didn't actually go stand in line. I'm waiting all I'm saying. Anybody play anything else? You played Mario Odyssey. Yeah, I played. I played for half an hour. Uh, uh, it was a little weird to have it come down to earth, right? Like yeah. the game in my head. I'm not even saying that I didn't love it. I did love it, but it's just weird when like, okay, here's the new Mario game. Yeah. Oh, geez, I'm playing. I'm playing the new Mario, and then just like figuring out mechanics, like. Yeah. It's not. I'm glad I played it. I'm super excited to play that game. I didn't want to play it. Like playing in the demo form is like not what I want to do. I want to sit you down, want to and, sit play down that and play that hours, game, yeah, right? Like, yeah. like they give, they give you two sections, like the the Mexican influence section and then the uh, uh, Sand Kingdom Sand and Kingdom. Metro Kingdom. Yes, and then you get like New Dawn City. City. Um, and it's just like the, by the time I like started getting a rhythm, it's like, oh, thanks for playing. Play the other stage. Thanks for playing. Yeah, get out yeah. of here. Yeah, and it's like ah, I couldn't grasp enough of like what was really going on. Yeah. Like just enough. I, I don't need to be convinced to play that game, obviously. Yeah. Right. Um, but at the same time, not that it demos poorly, it's just, I just want to sit and play this game. Yeah. So it's like, okay, maybe I need to go. I'm glad I got to see it, play it. It's um, real. It's coming out it's this real. year. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a video game. Yeah. Right. Um, I, it was very funny because uh, the first thing I ran into um, in New Donk City was the jump rope thing. And you only need to do like 20 jump ropes in order to yep. get like yeah. the, the moon. But I was like, I'm, I'm doing far. this jump. How far did you get? Uh, 87. Yo, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah like, like there was a crowd around me. They're like, we have not seen anyone. They're oh, like, like, me for real, not in the game. What real you crowd gathered around you? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> like up in like the, the private area, the people were like, look, he's still he's doing. <laughs> Mario Odyssey kill screen coming up. Well, so I, one of the uh, uh, my buddies who was, was uh, 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 able to get me up to that area to, to play it, he's yeah. like, I don't. I'm not sure if they programmed like th- three, like like Ooh, you know, if right, they go past right. like, like I'm sure they have, but like we haven't seen anyone do that. Like keep going, but as, as soon as he said that, then I fucked it's it up. Hard. Like, it gets tough being... to jump on those jumps. Well, and like yeah, it gets where you're like, dude, it f- it felt real good. Like that yeah. might have been like my There's favorite thing. There's a moment where it's like, oh, I'm in it. Like I'm just yes, in it. yes, jump rope. So video games, they're here to stay. Odyssey. Play anything else that we didn't already talk about? Again, we already talked about so in other videos that we shot today, we talked about. Uh, Detroit Become Human. Yep. Knack 2, which I played. A long... We, we, we had a we long conversation about, about Knack 2. two. Uh, Spider-Man yep. and... Uh, God of War. War. Which uh, you interviewed David Cage. I, I interviewed uh, Corey Balrog. You're working on your... I'm going to transcribe that David Cage interview and try to get that up in the next day or two. Yep. Uh, 
Then we also talked about some stuff with Devolver. I guess we didn't get your impression of any of the Devolver stuff, but we talked about on the yep. Devolver thing that will go up tomorrow. Um, and so uh, the Spider-Man stuff like that will also go up in a video yes, very soon. Yes, and so. and also a podcast. We'll get that yep. up in a podcast yep, too. Yep. Um, at Devolver, we saw... Absolver. Uh, uh, you saw Ditto, Minute. and then we saw Minute. And what did, what did you end up I also saw Talos. Talos about Talos. Talos yeah. The VR, because right? we did not talk about that or see it. Are yeah. you, are you um, a big fan of the Talos games? I'm not. Okay. okay. Uh, but I also so and and so there's not much to report. Uh, you know, it's it's Talos in VR, okay. and that doesn't really work for me, uh, in part because Talos has a certain like. I it's really like I really liked that. That's first a game, game I should have played. It went on like three hours too long. Mm. Like the complexity got to a point where it's like, but, where it was like, right, okay, so I know how this puzzle works. You just want me to do this one thing uh-huh. like six more times with an increased complexity, in which I'm just like, it was just like, it was a little much at the end. But I really liked the puzzles in that game. Yeah, and the pu- the puzzle stuff was, uh, it, it was kind of cool to be like inhabiting the same space as the puzzles in some yes, way, and like sure. sort of yeah. turning around and Ooh, like lighting lasers, up the right? uh, emitters and stuff like that. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, I think where it didn't work for me. And you played more of the original game, but for me, it's just like, this is not an amazing world that, like, I dreamed no, of right, being uh, right. in the right. stone courtyard. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like, yeah, 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 the yeah. aesthetic of that game was fine, serviceable. I was there for the puzzles. And actually, the, the story, the story was pretty good, and the ending was pretty great, okay. I, I, I thought. Um, but yeah, it's not a game that I... I guess I can think in my head, like, oh, like, looking at the lasers, I guess, right. could be fine. But you're probably all... How are the controls like the the jump forward like the teleport? Uh, they or have both modes. I only did teleport. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, teleport is the way of avoiding nausea. The other like if you dual around, analog sticks, yeah. it tends to induce. Even for me, who does not get nauseous in VR, you still get that, nauseous. A little depending how they're developed, like, shaky like, can be bad. Well, I mean, like Re Seven was like, yeah. I yeah. So yeah. Uh, Briefly though, on minute and the other stuff. Yeah. Your thoughts. Um, minute is. Super high concept and cool. So yeah. the, the the conceit of minute is that your character only lives for sixty seconds, and you can do certain things to trigger changes in the world. Right. Uh, and then your character just sort of keels over and dies, and you respawn at your house. And here's your next minute. Right. What can you do in it? Um, and that was cool. Like conceptually, it was neat. As a game, I was kind of like fuck. Wow! wow. You have to Opposite to reaction. reaction. We have high reaction. I'm not going to get into it with you here. Yeah. Because I better well, think, think of it this way, though. Uh, the game is only supposed to be two or three hours long. Yeah. Like, and that's yeah. inc- not like two hours when you're streaming together. They like two or three hours. Two hours straight discovery. through. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we're saying then, change your opinion. That's what we're saying. Ch- change right. your have heart. Have you thought about being or die right in the of wrong. words of David Lynch? <laughs> change your heart. Fix your heart. You know, I mean, I do like some games like this. What was the um? Have have your dark room. Oh, no. Dark Room is also decent. Mm, Did that have a minute thing? Well, no, but but like we're repetition again. Oh, okay. sure, 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 like, sure, sure, sure. Try this yeah. different outcome. See how that changes the world. I can sort of get with something like that. I just felt like I was treading an awful lot of water, and the minute yeah. was so constraining that I was seeing a lot of the same. Like, there's an old man in a lighthouse who starts to tell you a treasure, and it literally oh, takes him. That. No, we did. We had to go back. One thing I would say. Uh, the benefit that we had was like Austin and I saw it together. Austin was running it, um, and then we had another person in there, and I knew that person. That game seems fun to play with people. Were you We're go, like, fucking go do this, go, try right. this. I saw this, like right. maybe go experiment with that. Like, what did that guy say? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, I, it seemed like it was a fun way to play that game of like having a group of people that are like throwing out ideas, like oh, you missed like that turn, right. like you could go right. through that bush. Right. Uh, so, and then the last one that I saw was Sword of Ditto, Swords of Ditto. Did you, did you play that? No. Okay, well you can listen to the video or the you, podcast that we shot way. today. So soon. Susan. Check out check out that, and then absolver. Absolver. Yeah. You punch people. I did punch people. You kick anybody? Uh, I, I'm not sure I kicked anybody. I did a lot of spinning around people and elbowing them. Ooh, uh, that's so a good move. When the drunken style. Yeah. Um, it was really cool. Like, it has a lot of the things. We that should are... set that game up a little bit. Yeah. Because we did that video where we talk a lot about it. You but... should set it up. Well, yeah, it's an odd. <laughs> That's called. We de- just set that game up. That's <laughs> called. That's called delegating. You write uh, that down, kids. It's it's a, it's a it's a uh, online fighting with like a deep level of customization focused uh, largely on like fist based combat, but also you can like summon things like swords mm-hmm. and stuff. But like you can like go in and like delineate uh, like your specific combos, and you can unlock com- un- uh, unlock new combos when you like fight certain enemies. But it's meant to be like 
both a PvE but also like a huge PvP. Right. Uh, uh, it's like Souls like in the only in the sense of like animation priority, like right. very you, deliberate when you, combat. Yeah, when you when you decide to punch or decide to kick, like there is well, a lot of there is you can cancel out, which is the thing yes. I use a little bit against you when I beat you at the end. It was like, all right, start to throw a punch and I cancel out, and then you'd be like, oh, you just wanted to say that. Yeah, I did. So what do you think, Rob? Uh, it was it was cool. Like I actually really did like it. Um, I had a hell of a time like getting the timings right. Yeah. Like, and punches have point... active reload in that game is a thing worth. Wait, what? Know? You didn't know? No. Did you not get told that? No. No wonder. Okay, so when your uh, guy, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put an asterisk then on on my win. Okay, count. so when you land a shot, a yeah. brief like sheen of gold goes over your guy. No, yeah. never got that. Yeah. 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 No, and you, you always do. Gold. I'm saying no one never got that from the demo. And then, yeah. and then you have to demo hit, man. You have to hit if you attack again, you just instantly punch again. Like there's, there's well, it no... speeds up and it gets more powerful. Right. So, like, <laughs> as you chain that this together... That explains, like, oh, you call these chains with yeah. me. Yeah. Like, like, is... And, like, no, no wonder you were... You did uh. very well, considering. <laughs> Fuck. My lack it of information. was very close. <laughs> but I never found... I never found, like... I the never rhythm? Found the timing. Yeah. Right? And the thing is, a game like that, you need to feel Which, the um... I never did. So there were, like, uh, special powers for the different classes. Mm-hmm. I picked one that was, like, a dodge. So, uh... It, on the right analog stick, I'm not yeah. sure how this works for the yeah, other yeah, classes, yeah. but on, on mine, it was like right, left, up, down, allowed me to like jump up, duck right, under, and right. dodge left and right. Is that the class you picked? Or? Uh, no, mine was, um, I don't know what the class was, but basically, yeah. uh, it's a class that sort of like eats a lot of shit and then gains Absorb stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They have good names. I don't remember them at all, but it was like yeah. the City of Late Tears yeah. or like some, you know what I mean? Like very evocative, weird names. And I did the third one, so we all did a different one. Okay. Mine was the one that did, like, a counter. So it was just, like, you pop up an arm, block, and the that person seems, gets I wish I had done that good. one. Because the, the dodging one I had felt like parrying, and I can't parry in Dark Souls. I can't parry in most right. games. I did not quite get that timing right. down. And so <laughs> there was a sequence. Maybe this is why I never learned this one little bit, because he kept saying, all right, I'm going to punch you, and then you're going to dodge. And we like for, like, two minutes, he's like, We'll get the timing down, and then I died because he hit got, me too many times. Yeah, good, great. Mm. All right, absolver, devolver stuff. That's that's pretty yeah. much it. Anybody yeah. touch anything else on the well, floor? Danica's got to leave soon. I'm trying to. Think. Is there did anything you, else you, you saw? To touch play? Anything? No, I didn't you touch saw anything. Tacoma. You talked to Steve Gainer. I talked to Steve Gainer about Tacoma. Like, that's not that exciting I, though. Yeah, right? I mean, Everyone's seen Steve. You know, we all know. I lifted Steve in the air this week. <laughs> oh, that's why he asked me to lift him there. I'm like, I'm small, man. <laughs> did he, did he ask you that? I'm frail. Wait, did he say yes? <laughs> I think I said I had no context for it. He just said, Danny, yeah. did Steve make you lift him in the air? No. Not just, no. Okay. It's an Austin thing. I guess I'm not It's a me. It. Lift me. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Well, I guess that's that's probably it for our first. Oh, no. You played Call of Duty. Danny, if you have to run, you can run. I have to run. You should run. <laughs> Because now we're going to talk about... Well... Unless you have anything to add about World <laughs> yeah, War II. What do you think about Call of Duty? I don't have Duty. anything to add about World War II. Okay, well, glad Good. we put it on the, on the table. Besides the and fact that my grandmother was born in Berlin in 1940, oh. and her father was a soldier in World War II. That's interesting. Okay. Which side? <laughs> what? Well, you know. I'm... Okay. <laughs> Bye, Danica. Bye, everybody. Enjoy your show. Only half my family is from Germany. Tell me about the sides. <laughs> Tell me. There are Actually, Nazis. we spent a lot of time talking about the sides in did. World War II last night. There me. are Nazis in this game. Not not your grandfather. I'm <laughs> sure I'm sure he wasn't. Grandfather or grandmother? Which was... Uh, we no, should... grandfather hmm. was... Right. Yeah. Anyway. There are Nazis in this game. I asked specifically Good. about the swastika issue. Okay. And I was like, what's... Oh, really? Yeah. What's, so what's going on with Lean it in. I like this. Yeah. Also, and, like, is that the way I'm supposed to pronounce it, and I don't because I'm like an uncultured swine? What? Say 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 the thing that the symbol of the Nazis is. That swastika. Was... What? Is that That's correct? how you say that? Sh- like or shawarma? Say, or like swastika. That's or, what okay. I say. Yeah. yeah. But is it, am I... Swastika? I, look, I don't know the correct... Pre- look, I exhibit... Did you make that up to make yourself sound fancy? I, look, I make, it, I make it a point to not exhibit too much interest... In the correct pronunciation of Nazi <laughs> symbols and ranks. Being interested in history, does, we're not calling you a Nazi sympathizer at all. You know how to pronounce. Mm-hmm. Sh- 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 it would be terrible. It would be terrible. <laughs> it would be terrible to mispronounce. I think it's swastika. Swastika. Yeah. 
Okay, so anyway. Yep, so you asked, <laughs> are there Nazis in the... Uh, to set this up for people who didn't know... Fjord, I went to the I went to the simple store, and I was picking up... I was picking up swatch I gotta go! We gotta go! We gotta go! Uh, uh, which, hmm. which swatch sticker do you like the most? To get Danica back on this. The one with the red yeah. band, actually, is the one. Uh, okay, so... White faces, though, on the, on the watch, on the swatch. Okay, answer the question. Or rather, what Let me set it up. Answer. Let me set it up. Yep. We missed okay. us setting it up in a yep. previous stream or video. In, there had not been swastikas in any of the footage. We'd heard from sources that they were moving away. But there's, there seemed to be a like a conscious... Uh... It was a position about... It's a, it's a game about two, two armies fighting each other. Yes. Not about ideology. Not yes. about Nazis and allies and whatever. Communism, etc. Fighting. Right. So... I don't know what the deal is in the trailer, but he was very clear in the campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, swastikas are absolutely in the game. Uh, it's very clear who Confirmed. you're fighting, what they stand for, what okay. they're all about. Like Good. the okay. game doesn't shy away from that. He's like, what are in... the swastikas though? Oh no, they're gonna be there. He's like, you're why were they in the trailer? I don't. I can't. I think that's related to our criticism that we were discussing last night of these. The marketing for this game right. is bizarrely okay. detached from whatever the campaign yes, is yes, actually yes, about. Yes. So they actually, from what you played, like who are you playing as? I was playing you a multiplayer. It was a oh, multiplayer okay. hands-on. Yeah, that was disappointing. Okay. Uh, I did. So I did not come away with anything really encouraging about that campaign in some ways. Like hmm. uh, the good things I heard, I I asked specifically about. Um, you see that? Uh, you see that black infantryman. In, right. in the trailer, yes, it's like, yes, look, yes. that's a segregated army. Like, yeah. is, is he a major character and what's going on there? And yes, absolutely. Like, he's part, uh, I think his name is like Sergeant Howard. He's a major character in the game. He is cool. leading a platoon of black engineers. Cool. Wow. And they don't set any of that up in any of the performances. Really like, why wouldn't you? That, like, that would also, get you, not to be like marketing one on one, but like, that would get you I a would lot ask of that attention. Question. Yes. Even if you just. Mm, okay. It's possible that the marketing might be a little more gutless than the game. Who's to, who's to say? <laughs> Me. Um, the, it sounds like the marketing yeah. is more gutless yeah. than the game. I mean, we don't play the game, but we'll right. but the other and in, in addition to that, they were they said that they're also not going to shy away from the fact that uh, a lot of white soldiers serving in that army wouldn't react kindly to the presence uh -huh. of a Sergeant Howard fighting alongside them. Huh. And the game's going to address that too, where like he's a major hero okay. character in the game. And there's like, a good chance you're like, here. Like, come on! I'm not yeah. even saying something. I, like, there's a something. The thing is, like, I'm not even asking for them to lay that out. What right. I'm asking for is the you, pitch that says we want to tell a story about soldiers, yeah. about people. I'm yes. going to tell a story. There's any yes. sort of story type. Yes. Now, obviously, the video we, we learned since the video that was shown at the Sony press conference was a multiplayer trailer, apparently. Right. Even though I think that Infantryman was. In oh, that. that felt like a camp. Okay. Oh, we've, I, all I know is my mentions like that was a multiplayer trailer. Oh. Da 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 da. da. Idiot. No one said idiot. <laughs> mm. Someone said. Yeah, I was saying. Mm. Mm. But even there, like I just, I, I want that. I want them to try to tell me that, like with uh, uh, Infinite Warfare. Hey, we have something. We have a thing. We have a. a there's a thrust to what our game is supposed to be about. Right. And what we want to do. It doesn't it. make it good. It's right. just like, what is the perspective? Exactly. Like, what are we following? Exactly. What, what is. And this is where I did start getting nervous. I was like, what uh, are you doing? That's new here. Like, you're going back to. Uh, Western Front European Theater, uh, World War Two. Like, like what's the what, take? Yeah, what's, yeah. yeah, what's the new take? What do, you know? What do you find that was new there? And it's such a big war. There's so many stories. Uh, As we were doing our research, okay. we learned there were so many. There were so many stories in in this war, and uh, you know, you really can, you can. There's so many left to be told, and it was so mm. vague and non-specific and wishy-washy that I was I was starting to like. That started to me antsy again. I was yeah. like, that's really I think that's part of the problem, the way they set up this franchise, which is that that is true for Sledgehammer games. Right. So, right, if this was, you right. know, uh, Infinity Ward, then that would be a... My guess is Infinity Ward doesn't want to make another World War II right. game. Like, even though they had a lot of turnover totally. and stuff like that. Totally, That is probably, like, as a, as a studio, like, we've done we that, that thing. we've been there. Right, let's um, keep trying That's why they drive. tried sci-fi, right? Like, we're going right. to try and go far future, didn't quite work out. I doubt they're going to make a sequel to that game, but... I hope... Like, I, I, okay, I still haven't played Infinite Warfare, but I hope it's, they do. I, I think it's good. Right. I, I realized that the the I, I think that game would have been received better if it was not called Call of Duty. I'm gonna maybe this summer. I'm gonna say this a lot this week. Add it. How long is that game? 
normal eight yeah, hour I'll length. Set aside you could do it in a weekend. Aside, it, yeah, exactly. I kind of want to play that. You'll like the robot. I like robots. And you will like the robot. Nice. There were a couple interesting sounding touches to the campaign. Uh, they were saying a major focus of the campaign Did is... Did you play a campaign, by the way? No, I just didn't oh, show the campaign. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and I forget his name, so I'm going to have to look that up in my notes later. But sure. I'll put them on me. Uh, one of the focuses in the campaign is sort of being the squad leader. Uh, it's a very squad-focused game. Sure. And what is cool is, like, you're, like, you can kind of give orders to your squad mates is what he implied. Like, you're going to be sort of, like, like... I don't know if it's going to be full uh, Brothers in Arms right. level, like, you know, giving commands, which yeah. would be awesome, because... Because no one's done that in a while. Secretly, that's, like, maybe the best, yeah. like, World War II squad shooter ever made. But uh, how you do in these missions will affect uh, squad morale, and oh. that will, like, hmm. change... Like, huh. you didn't get too specific, but, like, there's going to be outcomes for how your soldiers are feeling about you and your leadership. I wonder if there's, like, individual... Rather than those being, like... Choices, yeah, like individual yeah, yeah, yeah. skirmishes that can go based a on of how you do ways, right? Like, right. hey, you have to hold this out. Like, well, we didn't right, hold right, out, right, we gotta right. fall back. Which one like, do you protect? Who lives, who dies? Yeah, who yeah. yeah. Which, what do you prioritize? Do you prioritize the armor division with your tanks, or do you right. prioritize the, the medic tent or whatever? Like, and that could be interesting. Yeah. Like, all this stuff sounds like a thousand times more fascinating than any of the trailers I've totally. seen for that game. I mean, again, I also you know, acknowledge. I'm not the audience totally. for those trailers yep. too. Like I'm, like I'm looking for something more, and so maybe that's fine. You know, to an extent, talking to those talking to those developers, it it does kind of feel like the weight of scrutiny if you're working on that franchise is so intense, especially like, with what happened with Infinite Warfare, in which the right. backlash was so was intense, so huge, so concentrated, yep. and specifically Activision never acknowledged it. They never tried to level with their audience. They never tried to say, "Hey, meet us hey, halfway." Shoot, like we missed it. Like we with, thought like, you we think you should, we think you should like this game. Like try to treat this game on its own on its own terms. Instead, they just said like. It's a new Call of Duty. And Everyone also, loves that here's shit. the Modern Warfare uh, multiplayer. And we're not going to separate them because this is how we're going to get you to buy this game. Like that in 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 yeah, a lot that, of like, that only a, that, yes, because it, it's so cynical. Yes. Yep. There's no reason you can't separate those two nope. things. You only do that because we want to boost the numbers for yep. this game that otherwise will have <sighs> less than expect. Yeah. So what a bad decision that was. So yeah, uh, did you get to play any of it? I played multiplayer. Oh, how uh, is it? So okay, so did I played you, three modes. Uh, have you, know, you been up to date on those games? Not, not really. Okay. No. And What's so, the last one you played? Uh, the last one I played. Are you a real gamer? <laughs> the last one I played, the last like Call of Duty I got into is probably Modern Warfare. Okay, okay, okay. sure, sure. Like the original one. I don't think yeah. that's like um, unique. That game like, was fantastic. Yeah. Yes, that's also why I was. Mm, I just got into the first Black Ops pretty, pretty heavily. Yes, too. but continue. Uh, you know it. It looks great. the The weapons all feel great. Mm-hmm. It's it's Call of Duty. Like you're not going to be seeing any battlefield style, like you know, uh, like Big environmental vehicles. destruction. Okay. The walls um, being broken down. No. Is it uh, still like the game of I turn the corner and see the man and shoot the man, and if I didn't do it quick yeah, enough, yeah, that is me. Yeah. That is super how that game okay. still feels. So it's like the the levels, the art is like evocative of a large larger conflict, and like so there's this like oh. point to hawk mission. Where it's okay. like, yeah, this looks like this looks like D Day. This is like, you know, you're in these block houses sure. and everything, except it's like um, a theme park sized, uh, right. like right, you right, know, right. area of Point de Hoc, and where it's like, this is Bunker World, and over here is French, <laughs> French Chateau Land, and you sort of like they're like twelve feet apart, uh, and so it's it's a little it's a little contrived. Uh, the new thing I played was, um, God, it was like War. War breakthrough mode or something like that. It's basically their answer to operations uh, in Battlefield, where it's like staged, tiered uh, oh, missions, like objective based. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. you're you're doing objectives one, two, three. All yeah. right, you did that. All right, going to four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. And, and so it's like you you have to go take this uh, communications uh, hut that the Germans are using. Great, you've taken it. Uh, better dig in. The enemy team is going to counterattack, and you right. better like build machine gun nests yeah. here, here, and here. Except that it looks like they're sort of preset where they can go up. So, yeah, I don't know. So it's going to be one of those things where it's like, oh, I know how this objective mode works more than, hey, I, I 
this is all happening spontaneously according to the systems of design. Yeah, right? and they were pretty clear, like, framing it as, like, a palate cleanser in between, like, intense rounds oh, of multiplayer sure. combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all it really did for me is kind of made me want to go play Battlefield. Well, so that's my big thing with this. I just don't know that I'm... Let me tell you about a game called Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Mm. I, so, it has ruined other games with guns. It, I don't want to say it, but I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, so I was playing with Jack DeKeat, a uh, freelancer for us. There's a column for us. Fantastic writer. And we were playing, and there was a moment when we were hiding up on the second floor of a, of a building. Looking, looking at some stairwell. Looking at some stairwell. Yep. Hearing a car pull up, you know, get, making sure all our guns are reloaded, mm-hmm. um, you know, sharing ammo. And he said something like, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to screw this up, but he basically said, like, this is what I, th- when I was a kid, this is what I thought action games should be like. And he didn't mean that in a dismissive way about his childhood self. Right. But what he meant was, like, there was a childlike glee in that game in which it looks like the sort of game that came out of a history of games that's different than ours. Yeah. In our history, Modern Warfare blew up. Battlefield blew up. And, and those are the two types of predominant shooters in the popular space. Where either it's the turn the corner, left trigger, right trigger, that dude. Or it's the, like, turn the corner, lay down, left trigger, wait, right trigger, that dude. Right, those are the two types of things. They're getting vehicles or whatever, mm-hmm. right? And in in Player Unknown Battlegrounds, it's this thing where you're telling a story about the space of the house that you're in, and what doors can they come in, and you're you're telling yourself this tactical story about what it means to be good at combat. But also like, individual matches like have a narrative. Right, there's a narrative that is, there's that is an disconnected arc. from yes. like yes. I'm gonna play ten Call of Duty and matches, like maybe totally. there's like one encounter. And it's not but realistic. Like, it's right. not it's still a cartoon yes. of what combat is or, or anything like that. But that cartoon tells a story. Right, that and that cartoon has a weird verticality in, in a sense, right? Like and it, it has this this notion of like I'm making all of these different decisions. I'm not just being good at execution. Being good at execution is necessary. The, the micro and macro decisions you're making, right. you also don't necessarily know the consequences in a way that I feel like you, they're a little more tangible in... like Right, and also in a battlefield or in a battlefront or, or any of those, like it's a big map. It's yeah. very easy to be like, don't worry about the fact that my KD ratio is garbage. We win anyway. Or like, oh, I had my one good moment, yep. but it's not my story. It's the team story. There are obviously other games here. Like yep. we were being very reductive. There's yeah. the, also like the Overwatch Team Fortress model. There's all sorts of models, right? But but that well, model clear, now, there's a good one. Yeah, well, and it's Battlegrounds. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's also. I think a lot of those games are yeah. good. But but what I've realized is like, oh no, I want the one that's like this one. Yes. And I'm. We're not gonna have that for another year until people. Yeah, like, I, I was I was joking earlier. Was like, I can't wait till next year when like every yes. multiplayer shooter has totally. like a Battlegrounds totally. game type, which is well, like. Oh, we just... People are really into walls that close. <laughs> exactly. The thing that's like, where I, the floor drops out and it slowly drops Something in. like that, the yeah. The thing is like, I'm almost mad at myself. Because like when I was growing up, I I played uh, like uh, Operation... This was a D. What was the, what's the game I'm thinking of? There's another like sim military shooter. Oh, Flashpoint. Flashpoint. Operation yeah. Flashpoint. And I got and really like, heavy into the original Rainbow Six before right, it became Arcadey. Where like, we're like, then, like, like making a map some, and a plan. It was very similar yes, to Battlegrounds yes. in that sense. And somewhere mm. along the lines, mm. somewhere along the lines, the army games began to look maybe a little too complex for me. The the other like sim shooters. The communities were intimidating. They were. They absolutely were. Whereas when I like, was these games Rainbow are not made for me. Right. Like, Whereas, I've played Modern Warfare and like these these games are not for me. When I log- logged on to whatever Microsoft's online game service was. I forget what it was called at the time on uh, Windows. It's gonna kill me to not know mm, it. And I, help us. And and I joined up with TDS, that damn sniper in Rainbow Six. Like I'm thinking like ten. If you remember ten, that was, was all that, the ones was back was then. It was, it was not Microsoft. Microsoft. It was not Microsoft. There was a Microsoft one. I can yeah. see, I remember the lobbies so clearly. But it was like, okay, this is an audience of people who are kind of not like they're aggressive and all that, but like it's not intimidating. I can get in and just do it. MS Gaming Zone. Yep. MS Gaming Zone. Yep. Thank you, Jones Kama Ice Cream. Um, yeah, and like now Arma is this whole other thing that's just like, ooh, it's too much for me. But but now I want to go back, or I want to like get back into that zone a little bit and see that zone develop out more and see that that influence influence games like Call of Duty, like Battlefield, like Battlefront. And that stuff takes time, right? Totally. So it may not have like we're two or three years out. That's that's my 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 guess is that we see game types next yes. year that like reflects this like this new phenomenon that's right. happening in a lot right. of like these more indie shooters. And then a couple of years from now, same with like Breath of the Wild, like there's right. going to be games that like say explicitly right. we looked at that and said what can we do? I guess it's the other thing is like on the single player front, 
I became a Far Cry person. I, right. became, I became a person who wanted those... I became a Crisis person. Like, yep. Even though Crisis 2 is, like, I think a pretty it's underrated not, game. It's an mm. all right... I like Far Cry. I like Crisis 2. Mm. Well, I so didn't have a good PC and was mad I didn't play Crisis and then Crisis 2 came out and they were like oh well it's it's not a big open world it's little like little pockets that you go into and yeah. those are open and I was like alright cool yeah. I, got a, I got a robot okay. suit or whatever I'm not disputing that you wore a robot suit in that game I actually wore a robot suit in that game right because remember <laughs> yeah. the whole story was like yes. oh your body's fucked you're dead yeah, yeah. that game's alright anyway Call of Duty anything else that they left you with any other big picture stuff uh, not really like the, those are the definitely the highlights like okay. The overriding feeling I got from that, well, so I was playing with a lot of uh, like kids, basically, like the, influencers, like, teenage, yeah, like infant, in, young <laughs> influencers. Did we both try to do infant there. Good, okay. And it was kind of striking, like for them, because I, I was I was overhearing them after after the game. For them, this was the Call of Duty that, like, right. Call of Duty sure. should always be. Right. And that's the thing. Is this, there is a very, right. like, purist attitude, and, yeah. and this is, this apparently is, like, for the purist. Uh, last is, last year, I was in a, uh, uh, a cab going between press conferences at E3, and, you know, a lot of the, like, cab drivers in L.A., like, are very aware that, like, E3 mm-hmm. is a thing. There was a younger kid who was in, um, um, in, in an Uber, and I asked him... He was, he was like, oh, where are you going? I'm like, oh, I'm going to this Sony press conference. He's like, oh, what have you seen? And so we were going back and forth, and I said, what do you play? He's like, oh, Call of Duty. And I was like, oh, like, you know, are you interested in Infinite Warfare? And then, oh, my God. Like, I got the longest... Like, I wish I had told him, hey, can I just record this? Like, I'd right. love... It's like, because you were like... You're the fan. Like, when I see the YouTube comments, like, I don't want to talk to those people, but, like, you're... I'm not saying you're a YouTube comment. I'm just saying he was very wow. articulate, like had a yeah, lot to say. Yeah, gotcha. Like he made that substantive argument for like yep. why he does not want that game. And I my guess is he is that target audience for that game. Just like he was the, I just want him to go back. He's, he, said, all... I, he said specifically, I fucking hate Battlefield. But you know what? They're going back to something they're like, I want, and so I might be a Battlefield person after this. And I was like, that's my guess is that person is representative of a lot right. of people. Right. Like, he, he is a microcosm really of a larger curious. issue that series had. Yeah, I'm really curious because, like, it's such a weird thing because the, I think as the as journalists, as critics, we want things to change very quickly. Yeah. We spend a lot of time with a lot of games. We get bored by seeing the same type of thing over and over yeah. again. I think a lot of critics put pressure on Activision to shake up the Call of Duty franchise. Or to pretend it's being shaken or to up. Least, right, exactly. To, to at least shake it up the sense that it's being shaken up. Yeah. And, and to shake it up in some in some other key ways. I, right. I, I do think that there was a substantial change in terms of speed and, and you know, uh, agility in terms of the characters across Advanced Warfare and... Advanced Absolutely, Warfare, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like, those are big changes. And I'm curious to see if they can resist that going forward. Like, if this is this Call of Duty is World War II and the next one is maybe Vietnam or is also a, another kind of older conflict, I guess even a modern conflict... Sci-fi. Um, for how long? Four years? Three years? Like, like I don't know, man. Today's purists are tomorrow's reactionaries, right? Like, right. there's going to be another move where it's like, oh, we've done this a lot. And though that would probably come from us and maybe from influencers also. Like, that's the other foot I'm waiting to drop. Is like, right now, the thing about being a successful influencer tends to be a degree of positivity yes. and a degree of, like, I'm here to root for this thing. Yep. I'm inside of this community. We love this thing together. And when we don't like it, it's about it's about like a specific execution being off. It's about this gun being balanced poorly. Right. It's about a lack of a certain game mode. I'm waiting for someone like a Jack Frags, like a Jack Septic Eye, like one right. of the Jacks, all the Jacks, <laughs> to be like, this isn't good. I'm done with World War Two, and to see if that sort of can happen and that those people can also put the same sort of pressure that traditional critics put on Activision originally that like. Push them to try to what's, it up. what's interesting is that Battlefield partially one it benefited from the intense backlash to Infinite Warfare, which yeah, people were just huge. like, ugh, like I don't yeah. want to do this. Like I've never played Battlefield; it's a different sort of weight, it's a different sort of play. But I'm gonna jump on that. Yeah, is Battlefield? Battlefield then seems in a very advantageous position yeah. to start like dictating the narrative, which like Call of Duty is constantly catching up. catching up, in which like what are the oh no- we're like but I, I don't know where it goes from here totally, but I do think Dice is in a position to be like we're dictating the terms mm-hmm. of like where like the movement is from here, and Call of Duty is, seems like partially because of the way they're cycling, yeah, partially because they seem rudderless, 
Like, with the exception of Treyarch, like, Treyarch seems like they kind of do their own thing. Yeah. But Black Ops has kind of played itself out. Yeah. So I, it's like, I don't think they can't make a Black Ops 4. I um, hope. so... Did they already do that? Wait, Black Ops 3, 3 was the last one. 3. Right, World War is in the Black Ops universe. Yes, yes, so, yes. Okay. Uh, I was like, there's four of those. Uh, so I'm, I'm I, it's it's interesting because right. like we'll like will dice just make a battlefield one two like but also like let's get the context here two years ago we were coming off of multiple broken battlefield games yep. and battlefield hardline fuck out of here yes the idea that battlefield one was gonna be good we are like okay yeah sure it, it's a hard it's a hard shift. it's a hard shift like and I just want to say like those hardships can keep happening who knows yeah we'll see I think it's gonna do it for our first segment tonight yeah, we're gonna we'll take a break. Away. We're going to eat food, we're going to unfocus the camera, and then we're going to sign off of Twitch so that we can go eat, put, I got, we got beef but bimbat. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I know it's got beef. It's got beef, it's got rice, it's got okay. vegetables, it's, it's good. Korean, we're very close I'm to K-Town. throw those vegetables out. No, eat them. Oh. They're good. Okay. They add to the flavor. Alright, fine. It's going to be good. We'll be back though soon. Uh, and if you're watching this on the archive, know that you can watch a billion other things on our archive too. Uh, YouTube.com slash waypointvice. Waypointadvice.com, twitter.com slash waypoint, facebook.com slash waypointvice. If something has not yet shown up that we already referenced, just check back tomorrow. If you're on Twitch, hang around. Maybe go watch the Giant Bomb stream. For <laughs> I heard someone was like, Austin, someone on the Giant Bomb stream, one of the developers of uh, the new uh, Wolfenstein, described their combat as visceral. And I like that I just get updates on when motherfuckers describe their gameplay as visceral. Uh, also, we should mention, because people have been asking, we will be on Giant Bomb we will. tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. I don't know if we're blowing up a spot. Yeah, okay. But tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Late. Late. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go around. We'll like hang out with them yes. all night, probably. Yeah. But but we'll be around there tomorrow. I think that's going to be it. We'll be back in a little bit. Peace. Peace.